Good afternoon to everybody in Tanakoi from New Zealand and those of you who've been asleep for the last five months. Don't forget we won the Rugby World Cup. <laughs> Just like to talk to you about Digital Publishing New Zealand, which is a new company that was set up by Copyright Licensing Limited, which is the equivalent of Copyright Agency in New Zealand. The um, shareholders in that company are the same as in CLL. Um, so this is our vision, the, to enable the creation, distribution and licensing of New Zealand digital content. It's something that's been around since we started looking at the company in 2009. And um, at that time, um, CLL ran a digital publishing forum, which was similar to what we're doing today. But it was also to get feedback from publishers about what it was that they really needed that would make it easier for them to engage in digital publishing. As I said before, DPNZ is jointly owned by CLL's owners, which is the Publishers Association of New Zealand and the New Zealand Society of Authors. They have equal representation on the board, that's two members each. At the moment, we're starting with trade and retail titles. And there's a good reason for that. That's probably the easy uptake in terms of conversion and also um, from when we started, the devices around at the time, the ability to read trade and retail type titles was better than perhaps some of the more multimedia type production. And our aim is to maximise the return to rights holders. So we operate on a cost recovery model. Um, it's not our intention to make money. So those of you with commercial hats, sorry to disappoint you there. It's all about you making money, not us. And I will give a shout out now to the company that's um, behind all the services that we offer. So Infogrid Pacific do all of our conversion work. Um, they run the digital warehouse that does our distribution. Um, and they're also working with us on sample creation. So all of those services are what we do on behalf of publishers and on behalf of self-publishing authors. And when it came to retail and marketing, we chewed this over, spat it out, chewed it over again, had another go, um, and decided we'd go with the experts. We don't retail. Um, I'm not putting my hand on my heart and saying that we'll never retail, but at the moment we don't. So at the moment we have agreements on behalf of the publishers that are working with us, um, with Kobo, thank you Malcolm, um, and also with a New Zealand supplier who um, initially was only involved in libraries, um, and you have them over here as well, that's the Wheelers Book Club, um, but they are becoming the New Zealand retail face of our collection, um, and we'll be launching with them shortly. One of the reasons for going down the not retailing line was the establishment cost of replicating the sorts of systems that Kobo and the other retailers have, the cost of DRM, um, the time to set that up, the fact that none of those providers were actually um, resident in New Zealand, it was a little bit hard to engage with them, um, and we felt that we could get our publishers' works out into the reading community throughout the world a lot better through existing retailers. The collection marketing is something that was quite big from day one for us, which is why we came up with the brand Great New Zealand eBooks. So Great New Zealand eBooks is a website where you can view the collection. Um, and any book that you eBook that you see on that website, um, it'll have a buy now button on it. It'll tell you where the publisher has decided to make those books available on. Um, so that'll link you out to Kobo, to Amazon, to wherever else. Um, either we or the publisher have an agreement for that ebook to be sold. There's a lot of um, thought has gone into how Great New Zealand ebooks operates. There's a lot of social media built around that um, and ability for people to write reviews, for publishers to write their own piece about the book, um, for engagement with the author and all sorts of things. And we see that as a huge area of potential for um, self promotion. By, uh, by authors, sorry, where they perhaps haven't been able to be involved before, um, but also to give publishers a place where, without having to reinvent the wheel themselves, um, they can use the website as their own link to market. On the website, the publisher has their own page, um, and that can be a landing page for um, publishers to direct their existing consumers um, to have a look at the ebook titles that they have available. Conversion funding, we were very fortunate 15 months ago, to receive $50,000 from Creative New Zealand, which is the um, arts funding agency in New Zealand. And CLL put $50,000 out of our culture fund into it as well, and then called for applications from publishers and authors who the rights of their books had reverted back to the author um, to apply to have some funding towards the cost of converting their titles. 
Um, we ended up with just over 400 titles out of that, which is what we're busy converting at the moment. We had a selection panel of industry experts come together to choose which titles were going to be converted, and we think what we've got there is a really good collection of, admittedly backlist, but hopefully not too far back, um, of books that will represent New Zealand well. Um, one of the, well, the only real condition that we put into that agreement was that if a publisher received funding from that conversion fund, that the title must remain in the digital warehouse for 12 months. Um, they can do whatever else they like with it in the meantime, but it must stay in the collection for 12 months, but that was the only condition. Michael asked me to include something about our learning experiences from having run this project, and I can't emphasise this enough. Um, I now go to my hairdresser every six weeks instead of every eight to get rid of the grey hair, um, and most of it is about rights. Um, you need to have the rights right. It's the biggest staller in the conversion work that we're doing at the moment, where on the application form when they applied for conversion funding, everybody said, yes, we've got the rights, we can convert. Um, turns out the proof is in the pudding, and a lot of them don't have the rights. So they might be relatively easy to get, they might not. In New Zealand we do a fine line in quality non-fiction, um, and of course they've all got beautiful images in them. Um, the likelihood of all of those images belonging to one rights holder, um, probably not good. Um, and if you have to go out to multiple rights holders to clear all those images individually, it's going to take some time, and as you all know, time is money. Um, it's been, it's the biggest hold-up in getting these works to market. Some of our publishers have gone back to their um, existing agreements that they had for those titles and decided that they, uh, the contracts are unclear enough that they're just going to run with it. Good luck there. Um, and others are dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Um, that's a risk and something I just wanted you to, to make you aware of, particularly when you're looking at backlist, but obviously also when you're looking at frontlist titles, you need to make sure that you've got your digital rights right. So where are we off to next? Um, I've been with CLL for about 20 months now, and when I first looked at this project, I wondered why we were doing trade and retail, um, and then the sort of lessons about conversion and whatever kicked in, and you know your average fiction title is a very easy convert, versus CLL's main stakeholders who are educational publishers, and I'm thinking, well, what are we doing for them? Um, and they are definitely going to be the next cab off the rink. Um, we've already had discussions with our national library and a number of schools about a pilot project that we're looking to do in education, um, and that will definitely be the next place that we go. We're also looking at Onyx services, and um, somebody's going to come up with a sexy word for metadata soon, and sooner rather than later. Um, metadata is not sexy, but unfortunately in digital it's that evil necessity. Um, and the distribution of it is something that we're really interested in. It has a huge crossover with CLL's other business um, in terms of exchanging um, royalty information throughout the world, um, and it's something that we're really interested in. We've already had print-on-demand discussions with a number of suppliers um, and also with booksellers in New Zealand who are very interested in a um, sort of coffee shop model of um, POD publishing from their shops. And we've also had discussions with libraries, which I know all of you as publishers go, eh, eh, libraries, um, and so do our publishers. Um, but we think that, and one of the reasons why we had a discussion with Wheelers about the retailing side of things is obviously they're predominantly a library supplier, and that gives us a double opportunity with one connection. Um, so that's certainly something that we're looking at in terms of providing another income stream back to publishers from the central distribution of their e-books and couldn't let you go without knowing that New Zealand is the guest of honour at Frankfurt in 2012, um, and digital is a huge component of that. And following on from what the um, previous speaker earlier on today was talking about in terms of the sort of the multimedia opportunities for publishers, um, we were very excited at the project reference group for Frankfurt a couple of weeks ago to hear that Sir Richard Taylor and Weta Workshop are going to be working with HarperCollins and one of the Tintin titles um, to present a, goodness knows what it'll be, I don't know whether it'll be an app or multimedia or an enhanced ebook or whatever, but they're doing something as a joint project um, already for New Zealand's presence at Frankfurt in 2012. So there we are, Great New Zealand Ebooks is the marketing um, arm of digital publishing New Zealand.
And if you wanted to have a look at some other information other than what's on digitalpublishing.org.au.org.nz will find you similar sorts of things. Um, and one of the things I really value about the relationship that CLL has with copyright agency is we do exchange all sorts of things around what we're doing on either side of the Tasman um, and we'll certainly be sharing digital information for you so that you're getting both the, uh, the examples from both sides and the best of breed as well. So feel free to join us there. Thank you.